Hi guys, IG Caddy here and today we're gonna talk about the rocket, how to set it up and how to use it. The rocket is a very powerful wood that gets unlocked at level 8 and it has the flexibility to be used equally well as a driver or a long or short range iron. With the rocket, you can reach any par 5 green in the game, provided that you have it set up properly in your bag. For its special ability, the rocket has, well, rocket boosters, and they get a cumulative power boost from the clubs on the right and left. There are several very nice rocket bag setups posted at irrationalguys.com, but for now we're just gonna talk about a basic configuration. In the first slot is the homecoming putter. Homecoming has a huge off-green power boost and it also has terrain resistance. Both of those boosts will be applied at the time of your shot with the rocket, depending on where the ball lies. In the second slot is the rocket. In the third slot is meteor. It doubles the special abilities of the rocket, which translates to two times the power of your rocket boosters. In the fourth slot, we go with the common law iron. When you first unlock the rocket, you'll find that its accuracy is sort of difficult to manage. Common law offsets this by giving you a bag accuracy boost. If you have the alien relic right boost unlocked on meteor, you'll get 200% of the bag accuracy boost from common law. Finally, in the fifth slot, we have our wedge. In this case, we're using Stormbringer because it's a really reliable option around the green. It also has Zephyr as its special ability, which gives you additional driving distance from an added wind speed behind you. As an alternate, you could also go with the Seeker in the fifth slot to provide your bag with tree passing. Now let's talk about how to use the rocket. The first thing you need to know is that the rocket drives the ball low and fast, your shots get pushed around by the wind quite a bit, and when the ball hits the fairway, it's gonna bounce and roll a long way. You need to take all of that into consideration when you first start using this club. It will take a lot of practice before you start getting a good feel for where you need to aim your shot to counteract the wind and how far the ball will carry after it touches down. Even though the rocket doesn't have a great spin stat, strategic use of directional spin on your drives can be a big help. If you don't have a ton of fairway to work with, go heavy on the backspin to minimize the roll. If you've got a long straight fairway and want to roll it into the cup, try straight forward spin. If you're working with a green that is tucked behind a bit of a dog leg, try some left or right spin to redirect the ball towards the cup once it hits the ground. Again, this will take lots of practice to see how the ball will respond to different spin angles. Another strategy that works really well, and I mean really well, especially in tournaments, is to aim your drive directly at the bunker or into the rough right next to the green. This leaves you with a relatively easy chip-in on your second shot and will stop the clock when seconds matter in tournaments. The last approach you can use with the rocket on your drives is probably the most risky. Aim your shot so that it hits the fringe of the green. If it's done right, it can pay off big time with the ball rolling slowly into the cup. But if you're just a little bit off on your wind calculation, you could end up hitting the green and bouncing out of bounds. Great. Lastly, the rocket isn't always just about hitting the crap out of the ball. It can be used on short par 3s with some finesse, as a mid-range iron, and as a short-range rescue club, like for when you get stuck under some trees. Just remember, the ball will want to run with the rocket, so give yourself ample space on the green, and, when in doubt, know that backspin will always put the brakes on the ball. That just about covers all the basics you need to know about the rocket. The key to mastering this club is trial and error. Pay attention to how far the ball will move with different wind conditions in relation to how long your shot is. Start making mental notes about how far the ball will travel once it hits the fairway. I know you've got this. I believe in you. Until next time, this is IG Caddy Sai Ning 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 Off. Yeah, I think that was a good take. I could use a little oil. Yeah, my legs are feeling sorta stiff.